Right, so welcome to Jenna Lindo Mikes. We're here on Benny's Lake, an epic water full of F1s. Years ago, if anyone knows this place, they'll know that it used to be full of small socky fish, sort of pound, pound and a bit, but now that has gone out the window. They're all sort of pound and a half to three, four pound, massive F1s, great big old things. They've grown so fast. It must be they're just a great expanse of water, but it's absolutely rammed full of fish. A nice place to come if you just want to get loads of bites. I've come today on the open match, this is just afterwards, and I've, I've ended up with £157, but you'll have to watch the live match, which will be coming out very soon, to find out how I got on. I just want to talk through a bit of a different method, something that isn't um, going to be used on every single commercial, but here if you look across the water, you'll see down the edge, there's loads of like, stick-up reeds, and the, these sort of big beds of reeds all along the lake, they hold loads of F1s. If you can fish sort of in about three, four foot of water, you've got the depth of these, you can catch shallow down the edge, it's not something that works every venue, but it's a really exciting way of fishing, nice and close to yourself, and you can have a really nice day of fishing, whether you are pleasure fishing or not, in a match. So, I thought I'd just stop on, do a little bit of fishing, do a nice little video, something a little bit different, and I'm just gonna fish with jiggers, because that's what I've caught on today. I've got two jiggers set up, so I'll just grab them here and talk, talk you through them. So, yeah, these are my two rigs. So the, the jiggers that I use are actually the the 0.2 Drennan dibbers, um, the inline crystal dibbers, and I just cut them down to make them into a jigger. They run nice and smooth on the line, but the nice thing about these is they've got a really thin sort of top, so you, sometimes when you're fishing with a jigger, you slap your rig and you want to catch really, really shallow, so you slap your rig and basically you're fishing four inch deep, and by using one of these jiggers, which has a really thin sort of gap, your line doesn't slide straight through, so it means it traps your line, so then it gives you a chance to catch them fish that come right up to the noise of the slap. So that's the reason for them, them little floats. My two rigs are three foot and 18 inches. So two different rigs to kind of cover the depths that I want to catch in. Good thing about a jigger, you don't really need to um, worry about lengths of line. You don't need loads of rigs because you're fishing direct to your hook bait anyway. So when a fish takes your hook bait, it's going to pull your elastic out. So it is an exciting method. It's not for everyone. And to be honest with you, I'd rather fish a fix, like a normal fixed rig because you get strike and bite, so it's more exciting. But for the purpose of this venue where it just seems to work really well, I like to, I like to fish it. So the shallow rig, which is 18 inch rig, I'm 18 inch deep. I've got white hydro, nice and soft, but strong enough to get these F1s in um, dead easy. A little connector, that's one of them little uh, pearl elastic connectors, that's a small one. So it connects your line straight to your elastic, makes it really direct. I would definitely recommend them, especially if you're fishing direct to your hook bait, like using a jigger. 017 mainline, nice and durable, that's end gauge. The little, um, they're, little, they're the little wiper stops that I use from Guru. You could use a shot or anything really, you just got to be careful you don't overshot your jigger. So I just use them because they're nice and light. Obviously I've got my little jigger, that's a yellow one. I just use different colours so I can quickly see when I'm fishing a match, which is which. I've got, that should be, one of my shots has popped off, but that's for three number nines I think, but I think it takes maybe four or five number nines, you can just test it in the water. If there's no rules, maybe put in five or six number eights might work, just to really um, straighten up your rig. If it's windy, you can have more shot. That's why, obviously here, you can't overshot your jiggers, so if it's really windy, I'd use a 0.4 or 0.6 and add more shot, and that just keep your line nice and straight. A nice shot hook length, that's a three inch one, and I've actually fished 015 today. You'll see down these reeds, I'm just gonna throw a few pellets in just to try and get a few fish back in the area. It'll probably be solid now after the match. Um, yeah, I can see the sticks moving. But I just, the only re the reason I've done that is just because these sticks are really sharp and if you get one run like close to a reed, it'll, it's nick, it'll nick your hook length and easily snap it when you pull and try and get one in. Yeah, I've had two or three run me through, but not too bad. I think this white hydra is nice and strong. It's quite a new one, it's quite thick, so it's powerful enough. So that's the reason for 015 end gauge and then a 16 SLWG with a little Drenna mini band. It's exactly the same on this rig, it's literally this one's exactly the same, just takes, that's three number eights I've got on there, so it, you can just shot it up, I just shot it up on the bank, like, each time differently, to be honest with you. And then on this one, uh, this is the one I fished with maggots, because uh, I fished maggots out long today. That's just got, uh, like, obviously, same hooks, SLWG, but no bait band. But they're the rigs. This is going to be the rig that we're going to use today. So what we'll do is we'll just throw some pellets down there. I think I might just fish pellets because I can't imagine it'll make it much difference now there's obviously loads of fish down there so that's the rig nice use a shark kit from die from Daiwa, them f1 kits they come up nice and close to your cell so you can get land fish dead quick especially today i think 250s won the match so i wasn't i've been about 100 pound behind paul wright who's i think he'll win the match today but yeah what i'll do is 
spin round, get the cameras focusing on the float and hopefully we'll catch a few, just make a little video and do a bit of fishing. Right, so it's time to do some fishing. I've talked through the rigs. Been throwing a few pellets and a few casters down here. So let's just try and catch two or three, just to make a nice little short video. Just gonna hook a little robin red pellet. That's a good little tip for you. Stands out, I think, against the, whatever you, whether you're feeding casters or pellets, it stands out. Nice hook bait. Just check these cameras are rolling. Yep, we're good. So all you wanna do is get to your point and sort of give it a couple of slaps right next to the reeds and then lower it down and then just I'll flick some bait over the top keep feeding it might take a little bit of while to get them going because we have just put a load of fish back but what you want to do is slap your rig a couple of times and just sort of lower your bait through Got a few casters left, so I might just chuck some in. You can see the reeds knocking today when I've caught. You'll see a little reed knock. There's one knocking there next to my float. Give it a couple of lifts and drops. Hopefully my bait will be in the eye line of that fish. Lower it down, lower it down. There we go, and we got one. Just as I got to the bottom, near the connector, um, it's gone under. Feed some bait once you've sort of got the fish nice and safely away from where you're fishing. Nice F1 this one. Oh, golden, golden brown. Oh, lovely. Only a little one, I thought it was a bit bigger than that, but nice little pound and a half sort of size. Pound, pound and a quarter. They're the ones knocking the reeds. So literally repeat the process, what you want to do, feed some more bait before you go out. Stick your red pellet on. Sometimes a caster will outfish it, but I, I like fishing with a red pellet a lot of the time. I think it just gives you a bit of an edge. Get out to where you want to go and just slap your rig a couple of times. It's a bit of noise. And then hold your rig up out the water, because then fish will come right up sometimes. It's not been like that today, but it can be. And then just lower your rig down with the and then feed some bait over the top. Oof, there's one right up there. Throw my, cast, my bait, try and get it right on the edge of the reeds. There's, there's a sort of swirling right up next to, right up in the water. And just, once you find some bait, and lift your rig up and lower it down. Give it a couple of jigs up and down. It's not been easy today, you know. You've had to work for your bites, it's why I've, obviously I've, I've only had 157 pounds, so it's not been like solid. I think the lads, you needed 200 pounds to get in the frame. So I've definitely, I think, I've, I don't know if it's the peg, or I don't really know the water, but I've definitely done a few things wrong. That's why it's nice to stop on and have a bit of a practice. couple of slaps and lower it down there you go just a, got him out nice and safe once you've got him sort of free throw a bit of bait in and then you can focus on getting this one in the net another nice s1 f1 even quite hard you're doing a nice job and what, a good little tip, right, when you get them in your net, when you're sort of shifting them back in from there, just hold your top kit up in the air like that. And what it does, it'll bring the fish's head up and keep your caster or your pellet out of its mouth. And every now and again, it'll help you just keep the bait on the hook. So I can literally pop that off, chuck him back in the water, and literally go again straight away. So it just saves you a bit of time, especially when you're fishing with casters, it stops them bursting the caster. So it's a good little tip for when you're fishing caster shallow, but any it, it just brings the fish's head towards you as well, so that sort of helps you unhook them a bit faster. Just makes you a bit more efficient. But literally, last little got, got like 50 casters left. 
try and catch a couple more. They have to throw some pellets in. Lift it and then lower it down. There you go. Just on that lift and lower, that's when you get one. Five some more pellets sort of in that area. And then get this one landed. Nice big F1. I wonder if I've caught any of these ones today. Be interesting to see. <laughs> Only small ones. I've had some right big F1s down that edge. Ooh, lively. Very lively. But I'll hold this one up. Little, little stunner. Ooh, doesn't want to get held up. Come on, be nice. Lovely little left one. Chuck him back there. Try and help get a couple more. These little left one kits is worth mentioning that they're really helpful to get. I don't know um, if you use them personally, but me, I, like, I love using them. Bring the fish up nice and close to you. You can get a less elastic in them so they don't run about as much. They don't run you ragged. Um, just makes you a bit more efficient. Give it a few slaps because the fish will come to noise. And then throw some pellets over the top. And then just lower you down. Sort of, it's like replicating the bait falling through the water. Sometimes if you just move your rig right tight into the rushes, they, sit, they must sit right in the reeds they do. But if you don't get one after a minute or so, it's worth just giving your rig a couple more slaps towards the reeds, lifting up, and then lowering your bait down. There's one there now. You can see the reeds knocking. Gonna put my rig right at the back there. Sometimes just going in, there you go. I knew there was one at the back. <laughs> so I thought if I move, sometimes if you just move your rig to where the fish are, it's an easy way of getting one in the net. But we'll call this one the last fish. Just a little, a little sort of tutorial, if you like, of a bit of cast a shallow down the edge. It's just about fishing the right rigs. You could catch sort of on fixed rigs as well, but I think some, when it's like, I just know at this venue, fishing the jigger really helps. So like I said, lift your rig up. This one's already managed to pop my pellet off. But these little scrappers are having a little feed now. But like I said, you can catch on fixed rigs sometimes, especially with um, this venue, you have to have an eight inch minimum between your pole tip and float. So that kind of causes you a lot of issues when you're fishing sort of with a fixed rig. Sometimes you can't, you, you struggle like missing, missing bites, whereas with a jigger, you're direct, you don't miss any bites, especially when you've got overhanging reeds and stuff, it can be hard to like slap your rig all the time. Um, and today, I've been feeding two lines as well, so if you're looking round to feed the bait on the long line, you're not gonna miss any bites, they'll just pull your elastic out, so that's another benefit of fishing the jigger. But that's a little tutorial, just be a short little video, hopefully you enjoyed it. Literally, it works with maggots, casters, or pellets, whatever you like fishing, whatever works on your venue, do a bit of homework, find out what's working, but, Another thing I will mention, this morning when I got here, cut them reeds down, as you can see, so like the tops are off them, so I can actually see over the top of them. And I think that's made a big difference today. I've seen some people not really chop them down. I think it does make a difference to how much you catch. I wouldn't have caught half as much if I hadn't, because you need to get right tight into the sticks. You can see they're sort of still moving now. I need to get right in them to get a bite. So I use that Lee, a Lee Murph um, weed cutter. They're perfect, just dead sharp. Chop them off, chop the stems down so you can see right over the top. That's a little bit of uh, shallow fishing on Benny's Lake at Lindome. Hopefully you enjoyed the little video. Thanks for watching. Cheers for supporting the channel. I've been enjoying doing the videos. Hopefully you enjoy watching them. Um, hit subscribe. Please like and comment. And I shall see you all on the bank very soon. Tight lines.